Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a reading for Scorpio and Scorpio Cross Watchers. Uh, I'm going to be using a deck that I created myself and it's already ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. I want to thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares. Your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your bookings, and your donations. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate you guys. Anything that you need about me, you're going to be able to find in the description box below the video, okay? So I think that I am reading for some alpha energy in this reading um, because right before I started this that is where spirit took my mind and what I heard was I don't need a pack I travel alone because I am the Alpha. If the pack wants to come to me, and I have to, I will lead them. But otherwise, I'm okay on my own. So, if that fits you, this is for you. If that doesn't fit you, that might be who you're about to meet or it might be the person who's coming into your life in a romantic sense okay the bottom of the deck we have eagle scouts honor be honest and that goes really well with what i just described okay so <laughs> i love it when spirit does this that's the alpha cord, like a boss. Speak your truth. I heard, let me clear my throat. Turn the microphone up. You got something to say, or somebody's got something to say to you. This is another, um, like, bad bitch energy here. And it could be, uh, you know, dudes as well. It's not just for females. It's just the illustration. But it's, this is somebody who is chill. They're just comfortable with themselves. They know who they are. They know where they're going. They know what they have to do. They get their shit done. They keep to themselves. They relax. And they just allow things to be magnetically drawn to them. I'm getting like energy of a a dive, like a like a little jazz like a little jazz spot, like a little I don't even know what to call it, like it's like a little bar with jazz singers and shit like that. That's what I'm, I'm getting a vision of that. That's the vibe I'm getting. Talk through the trees. So there's some telepathy going on here between you and this person. Something literally about the trees may be significant. Yeah, be my valentine. I think this person just wants to tell you that they love you. They want to give you a love offer. It's a past life soulmate. You've died together. You feel very comfortable with this person. Even if you don't know them very well in this life, it's because you've always known them. Yeah, dirty dancing. I'm telling you, I'm getting like that like dive bar vibe. Like, 
just chilling in the cut. Like, I really, I'm getting, like, a really, like, sexy vibe about this. <sighs> it's this place. This is rare. I very rarely get energy of a place. I almost always get just energy of stories and people but I can literally see this place and you know I don't I'm such a fucking introvert I don't ever go anywhere I don't like hanging out with people I'm kind of a bitch okay like I might not sound like that my voice might sound like really innocent and childlike but look like I don't like to be around people but this place that I can see this place I'm being shown I would fucking go there I would go hang out there. I would probably go sing there. I would probably fucking go dance there and hang out. This place seems cool as fuck, wherever this place is. And I don't know if it's a even a place from this life. It might be a place from another lifetime. Um, what the fuck are those places called where people... My brain shuts off when I start to channel, so it's hard for me to remember words. Um, speakeasies that's what I'm getting like a speakeasy type of vibe could be a past life you're so beautiful to me yeah this person wants to tell you this that's what this person wants you to know yeah that they love you so much this is like a I think this person is a secret admirer get more vitamin D Oh, honey. This isn't always a sexual card. But in this case, this is always a sexual card. Yeah, you're pretending. It's a secret admirer energy. You don't know. Like, you, you maybe have a, maybe a clue. I don't think so, because the very last card is Plot Twist 555. Five, five. Very important person. I really don't think you know, but I think you're about to know. That's what this message is saying. You're about to know. Like, look, this is easy. this is even that speakeasy speakeasy vibe. Uh, somebody is about to come forward and express their their feelings, and they're very deep. These are very deep feelings for somebody to just be like sitting on. But that's what's happening that's what has been happening and I think it's just because this person they love to admire you like they it isn't even they might be slightly intimidated but they just see whether you're whether whatever the gender they just see you as so beautiful so striking like they They're mesmerized because for you, when it comes to you, everything is different because of this. You guys have like a really deep past. And I don't think that I'm getting chills. Like, I don't think that this person has experienced anything like this with anybody in their whole life. So... They're taking their time because they enjoy this. They enjoy it. However you guys are communicating at this point, I don't know, it's different for all of you guys, but whatever level of communication you guys have, however this person is knowing you or developing these feelings for you, they love it. <laughs> they, ju they just love it. They love you. They want to take their time. That You're like the best. This is an example because I don't even think that you guys have kissed. But you guys are like the best foods this person has ever tasted. And they want to savor that shit. That's how they feel. Like they just. This is how they see you. They feel like you could do anything. Be anything. Go anywhere. Create anything. You're like a superhuman to this person. And you don't even know. This is your biggest motherfucking fan. And you don't even know. But you're about to. 